guys know I'm obsessed with Lawn Lush's beautiful hair. I was so excited when this company, Lily Hair, reached out to me a couple weeks ago. They were asking if I wanted to try out semi-permanent or permanent hair extensions. I had no idea that there was permanent hair extensions like I'll leave the link below down to all the products I'm trying today, you know, the tape and hair extensions, everything. I'll also leave a link to the permanent hair extensions. Did you guys know tape and hair extensions last from six to eight weeks? Oh my goodness. When I found that out, I was just so excited. I was like, where was I? If I would have known tape and hair extensions, is it just tape it in, tape it out in one day type of thing? Oh my gosh, I would have bought these a long time ago. I'm actually wearing the tape and hair extensions now and they matched perfectly they're the cappuccino color my hair is a little brassy at the ends and you know a little warm toned i'll link the video up above when i dyed my hair from blonde to brunette if you guys are interested the hair dye will be linked all of that stuff will be linked right in the description i've always always wanted to try tape and hair extensions i was really interested in how do they work really but I never had the courage to try it. So I'm so thankful for this company reaching out to me, sending me these tape and hair extensions. They are such great quality. It's 100% human hair it's virgin hair so that means it's never been colored nothing like that this is the package that came they sent me some surprises actually i was so excited and actually sophia was with me when i was filming the first unboxing she really wants this brush because it's you know she called it her unicorn rainbow so these are the hair extensions if you guys haven't tried hair extensions before clip-ins are a little more bulkier so this is definitely a great option if you want them to be like undetectable in your hair they lay really really flat they look so good since I already have so much hair, I ended up leaving out a couple of the hair extensions. They had sent me 40 pieces, which ended up being 100 grams, I'm pretty sure. Basically how it works, this, this would be one set of extensions that you would have somewhere in your hair, right? The awesome thing about them being this small is that you could really place them anywhere in your hair and it's not like a long, big streak that you have to put in a certain spot. You could really put them anywhere that you like, anywhere that you want to build more volume or, you know, have less. Since my part is not in the middle on this side, I put more hair extensions than I did on this side because obviously I have more hair here. So I'm going to try to explain everything as best as I can. If you guys have any questions, leave it down below in the comments. I'll answer. Yeah, I'm excited. And for future reference, I would definitely have someone help me because doing these alone was... It was a struggle. Yesterday I put them in and they are so, so natural looking. I barely feel them in my head during the day. It's so comfortable, doesn't weigh me down or anything. Let's get right into this video. Okay, this is all the hair they sent me. It was 40 pieces. That ended up being 100 grams for all of them. That's the hair tool I'm going to use at the end. Super cute. I'm going to link it down below. All right, your girl was super nervous. Okay, so I parted my hair on the left side, on the right side, and you're supposed to just leave the back out from what I've seen. So you part it. I did it right above my ears because that's what I've read that you um, piece of hair, you space out all on the sticky part. Obviously the white is what you peel off and that's, I mean, you don't just put a clump of hair and that's, no, like you're supposed to put it next to the scalp. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Yeah. And then at, after you do that, you, you use the straightener to make sure that it's nice and secure. You can use these clamps. I forgot what they're called, but yeah. So, okay. That's one piece. That's my first piece. I was so nervous. Okay, so I try my best, guys. Like, see how I'm doing the thin piece of hair? And then you put it under. I mean, some people have done it on top first that I've seen. Three layers like that on the back of my head and two layers on my left side where my part is less hair and my right side where my part is with the more hair. I did three layers, I think, of two pieces on each layer. But yeah. So you're supposed to um, put the tape and hair extensions right next to 
like how do you call it the part you put it really close like a centimeter i think below your hairline just wait does that make sense trying to explain to you guys best i can because i know this doesn't look that good to be honest but yeah okay so you put one you get a thin streak of hair right and then you put the tape and hair extension under it like i think i'm doing there i think i'm aligning the two pieces at that point but you basically do a sandwich of one piece of tape and hair extension next to your hairline put a thin layer of hair and then you do the top hair extension on the top and you align them really well and you press them hard to make sure they're really secure because they're going to be staying in your hair for a while unless you want to take them out early then there's ways to do that but i would just personally look that up or go to a salon whichever one you prefer definitely salon would be a good idea though <laughs>